what's going on happy thanksgiving um i know i had a great one i hope you did as well so today i'm going to be showing you how to do protected routes in react to router version 6. so here i got a little example already set up i got um three links globally in my app like at the root level and then my routes rendering on the bottom so when our users not logged in we want them to only be able to see the sign in page and we do not want them to be able to go to the home page or the account page and we don't want them to be able to type slash home and then just go to that page we don't want that so let's get started so first of all um, let me just show you i got some routes here and it's pretty simple what we're going to do. So let's just create a file. Let's call it protected routes.jsx. And in here, we're also going to make another hook in this file. And let's call it use auth. So basically like um, here you would authenticate like return true or false if you're authenticated. I'll give you a little example. So let's say we got a, an object user and logged in is set to false. Obviously um, you wouldn't do this. You would probably have it in a context or maybe communicate with your server backend. But for this little example, we're just going to hard code it right here. So you just want to like do something like this, uh, return user and user dot logged in is true. Then you can go in here and do const is auth equals use auth. Right. And then here we would want to do um, a conditional rendering. So if the user is authenticated, so we're going to do the ternary operator. So if they're authenticated, we can just return the outlet component. And if you don't know what the out outlet component does, I'll explain it in a second. And if they're not authenticated, you can just render the sign in page. Okay. So then we would go over here to our routes and wrap our routes in a route. And the element is protected routes. Basically, um, the outlet component lets you do nested routes. So um, anything that's nested under protected routes would render in as the outlet component. All right. So right now our users logged in is set to false. So let's try to navigate to um, the home page and the account page. As you can see, our path in the URL changes, but it's only rendering the sign-in page. And this is a viable solution. You know, it's not a shabby one, I'd say, but you could do something else. You could uh, navigate the user to the sign-in page, right? So then it doesn't change to slash home, but it navigates them. But then you might get like a little flicker, which, um, might not be a problem but i don't i prefer not to have that so there's multiple ways to do this but you pretty much got the whole point you pretty much can nest your routes in a protected route and do all the logic here all right so thanks for watching and have a good one i'll see you next time